What is going on, members of the Burger Empire? Brian here for Body by Burgers. I'm outside the gym, as you can tell by that sweet background, but this is the second time I'm here today. I was here earlier today. I ended up working out with my partner for the Festivus Games for the first time. We ended up doing the uh, hanging knee raises, the 100 hanging knee raises as the uh, buy-in to the workout, and then it was the kettlebell work, so we had the shoulder to overheads, the goblet squats, and the kettlebell swings. I was a little nervous for that workout, um, but honestly, we did a quite a bit better than I thought we would, um, so I was pretty pumped about that, but honestly, I am not feeling great today, but I'm here for a second session because there's a few things that I want to work on. I got my handy-dandy pre-workout mixed and ready to go. Uh, the weekend, oh, the weekend, I went to Calgary for an Iron Maiden concert, and uh, the diet and the food and everything else like that got kind of like really out of control to the point where I'm not good. A Saturday, if we were, we were kind of estimating what I was eating and well, needless to say, we were in like five digit calorie count, like 10, 11,000. It was so bad. And then on Sunday, we were well over 5,000. So we're back on that diet train, back on the intermittent fasting train and uh the next 12 days into the festivus games i'm going to be going so incredibly hard with diet with exercise with just my fitness in general that I we're gonna make things happen let's just put it that way I, I physically feel sick from the amount of food that i'm not supposed to be eating like i had everything pizza actual cheeseburgers uh, McDonald's. We went to Cora's for breakfast. It was just not a good situation when it comes to somebody that's trying to lose weight. And uh, lots of snacks, lots of chocolates, and energy drinks. Just all the bad things. So, yeah, we're back on track today and tomorrow and, you know, back on the intermittent fasting train. So, we'll see what happens. I think tonight's workout, we're going to incorporate some heavy deadlifts. I want to do probably some wall balls. Maybe some light rep snatches. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll write something down in the gym, and I will hopefully film a lot of it for you guys. So, yeah, this is the second time at the gym today, and we're hoping it goes well. I'm hoping the pre-workout does some wonders for me. Well, just like that, the pre-workout has been taken. So that means I should probably start warming up. Which means I've programmed some workouts. Or two. Nothing crazy. Honestly, I'm just here to establish a one rep max for deadlift tonight. You've been noticing I'm kind of uh, slacking off a little bit, I guess, is the term on squatting. It's because there's not a lot of squatting coming up on this competition. There's goblet squats with a kettlebell that's 35 pounds, and that's really about it. So I'm not overly concerned about squatting. I really want to get used to the mechanics of deadlifts because there's that deadlift ladder. I am going to work up to a heavy one rep max. Um, recently I've done 365, so we're looking to be beating that 365 mark. Tonight is the goal. After I do the deadlift and establish the one rep max, I'm going to test the Festivus Games workout, 45 is the new 21.15.9. I'm going to pretend to be partner B on this one where I'm just going to do the 45. I'm not going to alternate. I'm just going to go 45 wall balls, 14 pounds, 9 foot target, and then 45 snatches at 65 pounds. Personally, the target here is to do the wall balls in three sets or sorry, two sets for the wall balls. I'm gonna try and go like 25 and 20. I think I can do that. And then on the snatches is where I'm gonna do the three sets, 15, 15, 15, and be done with it. 65 pounds is light enough that I can just toss that around. Uh, and the wall balls to the nine foot target in case you're curious. So this one right here, nine foot. The other one right there is 10 foot. So I have to throw a 14 pound ball, which is that blue one, right there to 
the nine foot target, which is right there, 45 times. And I know I can wall ball like mad. This is a test run and to see if I, if I can do the 45 of both exercises within that two and that three, I'll be happy and I'll basically tell my partner that I'll take the 45. Because I think the 21-15-9 is much easier than the 45s. It may not be. I will hopefully test both in the next 12 days here to find out. But the goal right now is to do the 45s. I kind of want to be the 45 guy. But um, yeah, we're going to strap up and start doing some warm-up deadlifts. And I'm going to take you guys along with that. Oh, that's it. Deadlift's done. I figured that I would cut the video here and give a summary because I hit a weight that I didn't think I was gonna hit tonight and that's good because if I'm feeling like crap and I'm able to pull 375, which is 10 pounds more than last week, things are shaping up to be pretty good. Maybe it's the extra calories I had on the weekend. I don't know, but I'm, I'm excited. 380 wasn't happening, but that's okay. Because now I'm only roughly 40 pounds away from the max that I've established before. Uh, things are progressing the proper way. Just wanted to give that quick little interjection. Now we've got the Festivus game simulation uh, workout, which I'm gonna try and time. Again, 45 wall balls, 45 hang power snatches. Uh, I gotta look it up to make sure which one goes first. I think it's the snatches, I have this hunch. I'm not sure, but I'll double check. and. And I will bring you guys along with that workout as well. Should be lots of fun.
All right, so this outro has to be super quick because my battery's about to die. So I have four things to say. Before I say it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So the first thing, super pumped about my deadlifts. Uh, 375 is like a comeback PR, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Two, redoing the Festivus workout. 45 is the new 21.15.9. I did that one in about five minutes and 40 seconds. Am I happy with the time? Yes. Do I think there's room for improvement? Of course. Number three, I forgot to tie my shoes during that workout. Do I think it made an overall difference? Probably not. I think, um, if anything, it might have helped my feet from not cramping up during the paying power snatches. Um, and I just was able to motor for the wall balls. I did everything in sets of 15 and I felt pretty comfortable with my pacing. Number four, it's a bit of a sad note in the fitness community. Um, you've probably heard this over the past weekend. Franco Colombo passed away. He was 74 years old. He is a legend in the fitness industry, Arnold's best friend. And anytime um, you see somebody that paved the way for people in the health and fitness industry became an insp inspiration for anybody to do any sort of working out, it's a sad day. So uh, may Franco Colombo rest in peace. You are a inspiration to me being a shorter gentleman um, and able to make it somewhere in the fitness industry is something that was an inspiration to me. So sad to hear his passing. He will always be remembered and he is uh, a legend and nobody can deny that. So once again, rest in peace, Franco Colombo. That is the video today, guys. We're gonna leave it on that somber note. And don't forget to live every day in honor of something that you stand for and the things that you want to achieve in life, much like Mr. Colombo did himself. So thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you, um, you know, for everything that you guys do for me and making this possible for me to live my dream much like uh, Franco has inspired a lot of other people. So that is the end of the video. And until next time, everybody, Burger Power.